Hi, today I'm going to show you how to convert your old homemade VHS tapes into a digital format that can be played back and used on a computer. Well, that's where the Elgato video capture device comes in handy. With our VCR and DVD combo bags that circulate at the Elmhurst Public Library, you will get one of these devices so you have the option to convert it directly to a digital file on the computer instead of going directly to DVD. Is this little device that has uh, AV female connectors on one end where you can plug for your yellow video and then your left and right channel audio. And on the other end is a familiar looking device. It is a USB connection that you can connect to your computer. So what you would wanna do is grab the other set of AV cables that come in the Elgato transfer bag and you will connect each one of these cables to this corresponding color. So yellow for video, white and red for audio. Once you have those connected to the Elgato capture device, you will input this other end onto the back of the VCR where it says video or AV output. That's taking the output of the VCR that's being played back and it's um, routing it through this capture device so it can be read on your computer. Now in order to get the device to work you will need to download and install software on your computer. That software download page is listed on the card that comes in the Elgato transfer bag and there will also be detailed instructions in the bag to help you out. Although the instructions are in the bag I'm just going to quickly show you what the website looks like. When you go to Elgato's website and the download page, you will select the video capture device and your operating system that you are running on your computer. Once you have each of those selected, you can download and install on your computer by following the steps on the screen. So to get started, I'm just gonna begin playback. So we'll see here, it's being played back on my TV. Just so you're aware, this is a VHS tape that I just happened to have recorded. I do own season three of Seinfeld on DVD and also digitally, so please don't sue me. Then what you do is you go over to your computer and you open up the Elgato video capture software once you've had that installed on your PC. Here you have the option to name this, so I'm just gonna name it Bookman. Uh, and you can choose how long this movie is gonna be. So if you know how long the content on your VHS tape is, you can select that here, and that will give you an estimate of how much disk space is required. So here I can see about 364 megabytes of hard disk space is required for every 30 minutes of video footage I capture. So if I go to 60, we'll see that double to about 728 megabytes. Um, so where you can store these files on your computer, you can actually choose. So I'm using a Mac. It's a little bit different on a Windows computer. Um, but if you select your preferences, you can go to File. File on a Windows computer will get you there to Preferences. And then Elgato Video Capture on a Mac will allow you to get to Preferences. And here you can choose where you want to save the video file. By default, it's going to my Movies folder on my Mac. If I wished, I could connect a external hard drive or flash drive to my computer and select that as the output storage location for my video file. Here you get the format for uh, MP4 or H.264. That's really up to you and how you want to capture. H.264 is an HD video codec. So MP4 would probably be enough since we are just using a VHS tape. Um, but H.264 is a compatible video format. If you were gonna be uploading to something like YouTube, um, that is a format that is highly compatible with those. But really you might wanna do some research if you plan on editing the video, see which of those two video formats works better in the video editing application you plan to use. Once you have all of those settings, to how you like them. I'm gonna leave everything by default and click OK. So that lets you know where your file is being saved and lets you adjust any settings. So I've left everything at default, so, but I know now it's being saved to my movies folder on my computer. I'm gonna select continue. Okay. Now you have the option to change the 
um, aspect ratio of your video. So if you filmed it in 4x3, leave it at 4x3. If you filmed it in 16x9, leave it in 16x9. All right, the next step is audio. So here you can see the audio signal in green is being displayed and I can actually hear it being played back on my computer. So I know the audio being output from the VCR is working, so that's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue. Now you have the option to mute the sound as it's being played back, meaning that you no longer hear it through your computer. You can unmute that sound and it'll play back. You can also set it to where it'll automatically stop recording at that interval. So if I, I started with 60 minutes, that means it's gonna record for 60 minutes and stop automatically. You can also hit the start recording button and let it play back. And as soon as you're done, you can go ahead and stop the recording. So this is actually the perfect spot because I really just wanted to capture the Bookman part because it's great. So I'm just gonna let this play back and then we'll stop it. All right, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording. So now I have that captured. So now once you do have that captured, you'll see that this screen is displayed where you can do some trimming. So it was a little earlier I caught the end of Seinfeld's stand-up routine. If I just wanted to cut right before I see Bookman, I can move that slider and it'll trim that end off so I don't get the beginning. Or if maybe I recorded a little too long, I can go ahead and trim the end. Um, so you, if you were to leave this go, maybe you had to step away and your VHS tape that you have of a soccer game that, of your kid that you recorded or a wedding, um, and you have all of that uh, blank space at the end because you let it record for too long, here's your chance to trim it just so you don't have that extra footage taking up space uh, on a video file. Um, so that's one way Elgato allows you um, to sort of just trim the beginning or the end to remove certain things. Um, so you can use that tool available and once you have it trimmed up, you can select continue. Once you have it trimmed, it's going to be saved on your computer. So mine is being saved to this video file in my movies folder. And you'll see that I have some options to play with QuickTime on my Mac. I could add the video to iTunes for playback on my computer, or it'll allow me to um, upload it to YouTube if I wished, which I'm not going to do because I do not own this video footage. I'm just using it for my personal use and to show you all today. So I'm going to go ahead and quit. And now if I go to my movies folder on my Mac, I'm going to see that I have this video file called Bookman. And if I go to play that back, now I have that video file. So now it's a file on my computer. I can insert it to iMovie if I wanted to get creative with it. Um, I can adjust any color settings and things like that in a video editing program. So that's basically it. You're taking the video output of the VCR that you're using to play back your tape and you're taking that output signal and routing it through your computer to record to a digital file. So it's really that simple. It does record in real time, so keep that in mind. Uh, if you do have an hour or two hour long tape, it's gonna take that amount of time to convert, even digitally. But once it's digital and on your computer, there's so much more that you can do with it, um, a lot more than you can with a DVD, for instance, um, especially the way technology is trending now. You probably, if um, you have the option, you're not gonna wanna convert it to DVDs anymore. You're gonna wanna convert it to a digital file. That's where the Elgato comes in handy. Um, so just know that you have that when you check out a VCR and DVD combination unit from the library. And I hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, just let us know. And thank you all for watching.